The Zone of Interest, a movie from the United Kingdom, is one of the five Oscar nominees for Best International Film. But our Greg warns that this film wasn't made to entertain you. Here's Terry's take. The Zone of Interest is based on the real lives of an upper-class family who live right next to the Auschwitz concentration camp during World War II. The ordinary lives of the family go on as if horrific mass murders weren't happening on the other side of a high wall. We hear screams and shouts, gunfire, and the roar of the crematoriums, but we are never shown anything that takes place inside the camp itself. To say that the zone of interest is disturbing to watch is an understatement. Auschwitz Commandant Rudolf Haas lives on the property next to the camp with his wife Hedwig, their five children, and their servants. This privileged family appears oblivious to the terrible sounds of suffering on the other side of the wall. The Zone of Interest is a movie about what you don't see. Perhaps fittingly, less than two minutes of footage from this film has been made public. It seems the director's purpose is to show that evildoers of the worst kind look like ordinary people. The banality of evil is what historians call this. Hedwig is pleased to get her hands on a fur coat, knowing full well that it belonged to a Jewish woman. Rudolph takes pride in developing more efficient ways of exterminating people, burning the bodies of thousands of Jews every day. Nothing much happens to the family in this extremely slow-paced film. Instead, we observe the dull details of their everyday lives. At one point, Hedwig's mother comes to visit, but we assume the mom can't stand the terrible sounds coming from the camp because she leaves without a word in the middle of the night. Two visiting children write in the guest book. Many critics have praised this film for its creativity. But for me, the zone of interest was like a piece of conceptual art that should not have been turned into a full-length feature film. We feel the horror of the atrocities this family ignores in the first 10 minutes. The rest of the movie feels like piling on. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now. And you, as you were saying, very good.